This video is all about the Director Scout. So I'm in a suitably epic uh, location. Uh, this is not a green screen, this is actually the Sahara Desert. And I'm here on a director scout for uh, Origins, uh, the uh, Star Wars Indiana Jones fan film um, that I'm making, uh, the personal project of mine. If you have no clue what that is, um, uh, it would be surprising because I've been banging on about it for ages, but uh, have a look at the uh, Origins playlist on my channel and uh, you'll find out more about this crazy ambitious project which has brought me literally to the Sahara Desert <laughs> to find uh, locations. But I thought this was a good opportunity to talk about what the Director Scout is, what I use it for and uh, some of the tools that I use to help me remember what I've seen. So the process for me, this is commercials, film, anything that I'm working on is that um, I will write a detailed brief. The brief will have images um, that are pulled off the internet from movies to say this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Sometimes I'll find what I think is the perfect place um, and uh, give the location people uh, the challenge of trying to find either that exact place which usually is on the other side of the world and then we have to find a equivalent in Wales or something and they'll go out and they'll take pictures and from that fo from those photos I'll, I'll, I'll kind of whittle down to uh, the few this could be anything between three or 10 locations that I'll go and see myself uh, on the director scout. So this is very different to the tech recce's. That's when you'd have your DP, um, you, you know, your heads of departments, your art department, and they all want to come um, and you talk about specific shots then when you've decided on the location. But it's important, I find it's important on the scout is for it just to be you, maybe the producer um, and the locations uh, scout just to walk around and take pictures and just kind of immerse yourself in the location. On every single thing that I've ever directed, you go into a location and you always see something different, something you didn't think of, a little gift, you know, the location gives to you. Um, and that can change the way you thought you were gonna shoot it. So it's important to go into locations um, not narrow-minded. Of course, you're the director, so they're looking for you to be decisive, but there is nothing wrong with saying, I'm not sure. And, that, and, and I do that, you know? You can go into some locations and go, I think this could work, but I need to think about it. And I do that on some locations where, you know, you love the location, but it's not quite what you imagined in terms of your shots. So you need time to sort of go away and have a think about, okay, if I was going to do it in this location, if you fall in love with the place, um, you need to figure out um, if you can actually practically shoot it there and put all that time in again to write a new shot list, to play with some new storyboards, to come up with some new references, to see whether it actually works. You either fall in love with the location because it looks pretty, or you fall in love because it looks pretty and you can and it also offers what you need to tell the story and that's what's really important whether it's a commercial or a film is that there is no point just picking a place that looks good and then be backed into a corner and not be able to actually shoot the scene there now sometimes you know a place is completely wrong and for those locations obviously you can you know, have a little, have a little look, take some photos. You never know; it could be useful for a location in the future, and then um, not waste anyone's time. So, on the scout, what, what, what is the stuff that I have? What is the stuff that I always bring? Um, well, firstly, a camera, um, which I can't show you because that's what I'm filming this on. Um, so, I use a Sony A600, uh, which is an APS-C camera and not to turn this into a gear review. But why that is important is because the photos that I take with this camera, um, the lens size is the same equivalent to a 35 mil camera, uh, or very, very similar. So it gives you a very good idea when, when you're on a location, what sort of lenses you, you might need to get a shot or whether it's actually possible to shoot in that location. Then old school, I have my Chewy. So this is a little director's viewfinder. 
um, which I've had for a few years. This is an Alan Gordon one. I got this from the uh, Panavision store. You can change aspect ratio, you can change lens sizes. So the same as you might do on a camera, and you can take some pictures. This is a good way just to, you know, put it in the eye and then sort of frame for shot. Um, and what's very good is that you, obviously you can change the aspect ratio more than you can on an actual camera. So it gives you a good idea of what, uh, I mean, 235, 24 mil on this background is just like, I'm shooting Lawrence Arabia right now. There are apps for your phone that do the same thing. There's an app called Artemis, uh, which is very, very good. Um, to be honest, I like looking through the glass or looking through a camera um, to take uh, some photos like that. But that is a very, very useful tool. And basically it turns this thing into an app for your phone, which is very, very useful. And on this, the main app I use is an app called Sun Scout. And this means you can open the app and hold the phone up and it'll tell you where the path of the sun is going to be that day in a week's time in a month's time you know it's an amazing tool so when you're on a location you can start picking your angles based on whether you want backlight side light that'll give you some brownie points for your dp because when you pick a location the first thing they ask is usually where's the sun <laughs> then i've always got my ipad and um on here i will have the script and the storyboards because um you know it's nice to have on the on the location to sort of glance through uh, when you're on set i'll you know in between locations i'll just keep reading the script sort of over and over again um because you can never read it too many times especially you know a drama or a feature script uh, i use an app called i annotate where you can write on and annotate pdfs and photos and things like that so usually I'm making notes you know about shots or ideas that I've got when when I'm on a scout and also what's really important is to make notes as you go along because if you're seeing 10 locations they can all merge into one mainly the notes I take are the conversations you would have with a producer or with your location uh, scout or manager um, and they're mainly about logistics like this location is great but the nearest unit base is half an hour away and that's going to cost me shooting time or this location uh, is okay but we can park the Winnebago's and, and the makeup truck right there um, which means more shooting time so usually the practical elements which are very hard to take a photo of um, but are quite important in making that decision about what location you're going to choose it's obviously about does it work for the story is it what you imagined in your head? And practically, does it make sense for the production? You can't have your blinkers on and pick locations just because they look nice. Um, you need to take into consideration the practicalities of it as well, because that's your job too. And I think that's about it. I think. I'm probably missing something glaringly obvious. It's going to be very difficult to... <laughs> to drop that back in because I won't have the Sahara Desert um, when I come to edit this. But um, I hope you found this very useful. If you have, please uh, like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't checked out the um, reason why I'm sat in the Sahara Desert doing this video, please check out the videos on Origins, the uh, crazy uh, personal project short film that I am in the process of making. Or if you're watching this in the future, I have already made and go enjoy the film. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.